Who is John Travolta? John Joseph Travolta is an American actor. He began acting in television before transitioning into a leading man in films. His accolades include a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award, in addition to nominations for two Academy Awards and a BAFTA Award. Wikipedia Born, February 18, 1954, age 70 years, Englewood, New Jersey Spouse, Kelly Preston, M. 1991-2020 Children, Ella Blue Travolta, Jet Travolta Height, 6 foot 2 Parents, Salvatore Travolta, Helen Cecilia Burke. Siblings, Ellen Travolta, Sam Travolta, Joey Travolta, Margaret Travolta, and Travolta. John Joseph Travolta was born in Englewood, New Jersey, one of six children of Helen Travolta, nay Helen Cecilia Burke, and Salvatore slash Samuel J. Travolta. His father was of Italian descent and his mother was of Irish ancestry. His father owned a tire repair shop called Travolta Tires in Hillsdale, New Jersey. Travolta started acting, appearing in a local production of Who'll Save the Plowboy? His mother, herself an actress and dancer, enrolled him in a drama school in New York, where he studied voice, dancing, and acting. He decided to combine all three of these skills and become a musical comedy performer. At 16, he landed his first professional job in a summer stock production of the musical, Bye Bye Birdie. He quit school at 16 and moved to New York, and worked regularly in summer stock and on television commercials. When work became scarce in New York, he went to Hollywood and appeared in minor roles in several series. A role in the national touring company of the hit 1950s musical, Grease, brought him back to New York. An opening in the New York production of Grease gave him his first Broadway role at age 18. After Grease, he became a member of the company of the Broadway show Over Here, which starred the Andrews sisters. After 10 months in Over Here, he decided to try Hollywood once again. Once back in Hollywood, he had little trouble getting roles in numerous television shows. He was seen on The Rookies, 1972, Emergency. 1972 and Medical Center, 1969, and also made a movie, The Devil's Reign, 1975, which was shot in New Mexico. The day he returned to Hollywood from New Mexico, he was called to an audition for a new situation comedy series ABC was planning to produce called Welcome Back, Cotter, 1975. He got the part of Vinnie Barbarino, and the series went on the air during the 1975 fall season. He starred in a number of monumental films, earning his first Oscar and Golden Globe nominations for his role in the blockbuster Saturday Night Fever, 1977, which launched the disco phenomenon in the 1970s. He went on to star in the big-screen version of the long-running musical Grease, 1978, and the wildly successful Urban Cowboy, 1980, which also influenced trends in popular culture. Additional film credits include the Brian De Palma thrillers Carrie, 1976, and Blow Out, 1981, as well as Amy Heckerling's hit comedy Look Who's Talking, 1989, and Nora Ephron's comic hit Michael, 1996. Travolta starred in Phenomenon, 1996, and took an equally distinctive turn as an action star in John Woo's top-grossing Broken Arrow, 1996. He also starred in the classic Face Slash Off, 1997, opposite Nicolas Cage, and The General's Daughter, 1999, co-starring Madeline Stowe. In 2005, Travolta reprised the role of ultra-cool Chili Palmer in the Get Shorty, 1995, sequel Be Cool, 2005. In addition, he starred opposite Scarlett Johansson in the critically acclaimed independent feature film A Love Song for Bobby Long, 2004, which was screened at the Venice Film Festival, where both Travolta and the films won rave reviews. In February 2011, John was honored by Europe's leading weekly program magazine Horzu, with the prestigious Golden Camera Award for Best Actor International in Berlin, Germany. Other recent feature film credits include box office hit comedy Wild Hogs, the action thriller Ladder 49, 2004, the movie version of the successful comic book The Punisher, 2004, the drama Basic, 2003, 
The Psychological Thriller Domestic Disturbance, 2001, The Hit Action Picture Swordfish, 2001, The Infamous Sci-Fi Movie Battlefield Earth, 2000, Based Upon the Best-Selling Novel by L. Ron Hubbard, and Lonely Hearts, 2006. Travolta has been honored twice with Academy Award nominations, the latest for his riveting portrayal of a philosophical hitman in Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, 1994. He also received BAFTA and Golden Globe nominations for this highly acclaimed role and was named Best Actor by the Los Angeles Film Critics Association, among other distinguished awards. Travolta garnered further praise as a mafioso-turned-movie producer in the comedy sensation Get Shorty, 1995, winning the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy. In 1998, Travolta was honored by the British Academy of Film and Television Arts with the Britanna Award, and in that same year he received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Chicago Film Festival. Travolta also won the prestigious Alan J. Pakula Award from the U.S. Broadcast Critics Association for his performance in A Civil Action, 1998, based on the best-selling book and directed by Stephen Zalian. He was nominated again for a Golden Globe for his performance in Primary Colors, 1998, directed by Mike Nichols and co-starring Emma Thompson and Billy Bob Thornton, and in 2008, he received his sixth Golden Globe nomination for his role as Edna Turnblad in the big screen, box office hit, Hairspray, 2007. As a result of this performance, the Chicago Film Critics and the Santa Barbara Film Festival decided to recognize Travolta with a Lifetime Achievement Award for his role. In addition, Travolta starred opposite Denzel Washington in Tony Scott's remake The Taking of Pelham 123, 2009, and he provided the voice of the lead character in Walt Disney Pictures' animated Hit Bolt, 2008, which was nominated for a 2009 Academy Award for Best Animated Feature Film and a Golden Globe for Best Animated Film, in addition to Best Song for John and Miley Cyrus duet titled, I Thought I Lost You. Next, Travolta starred in Walt Disney Pictures' Old Dogs, 2009, along with Robin Williams, Kelly Preston, and Ella Blue Travolta, followed by the action thriller From Paris with Love, 2010, starring opposite Jonathan Rhys Myers. In 2012, John starred alongside Taylor Kitsch, Blake Lively, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Benicio del Toro, Salma Hayek, Emile Hirsch, and Damian Beecher and Oliver Stone's Savages, 2012. The film was based on Don Winslow's best-selling crime novel that was named one of the New York Times' top 10 books of 2010. John was most recently seen in Killing Season, 2013, co-starring Robert De Niro, and directed by Mark Stephen Johnson. John recently completed production on the Boston-based film, The Forger, 2014, alongside Academy Award winner Christopher Plummer and Critics' Choice nominee Ty Sheridan. John plays a second-generation petty thief who arranges to get out of prison to spend time with his ailing son, Sheridan, by taking on a job with his father, Plummer, to pay back the syndicate that arranged his release. John has received two prestigious aviation awards. In 2003, the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics Foundation Award for Excellence for his efforts to promote commercial flying, and, in 2007, the Living Legends Ambassador of Aviation Award. John holds 11 jet licenses, 747, 707, Gulfstream 2, Lear 24, Hawker 1251A, Eclipse Jet, Vampire Jet, Canadair CL-141 Jet, Soko Jet, Citation ISP, and Challenger. Travolta is the Qantas Airways Global Goodwill Ambassador at large and piloted the original Qantas 707 during Spirit of Friendship Global Tour in July-August 2002. John is also a business aircraft brand ambassador for Learjet, Challenger and Global Jets for the world's leading business aircraft manufacturer, Bombardier. John flew the 707 to New Orleans after the 2005 hurricane disaster bringing food and medical supplies, and in 2010, again flew the 707, this time to Haiti after the earthquake, carrying supplies, doctors, and volunteers. John, along with his late wife, actress Kelly Preston, 1962 to 2020, were very involved in their charity, the Jet Travolta Foundation, which raises money for children with educational needs. Family. Spouse.
Kelly Preston, September 12, 1991, to July 12, 2020, her death, three children. Children. Benjamin Travolta. Jet Travolta. Ella Blue Travolta. Parents. Helen Travolta. Salvatore Travolta. Relatives. Joey Travolta, sibling. Ellen Travolta, sibling. Anne Travolta, sibling. Margaret Travolta, sibling. Sam Travolta, sibling. Nicole Travolta, niece or nephew. Rachel Travolta, niece or nephew. Tom Fridley, niece or nephew. Molly Fridley, niece or nephew. Tom Fridley, aunt or uncle. Trademarks. Cleft chin and razor-sharp cheekbones. Often works some sort of dance into his roles. New Jersey accent. Dark hair with widow's peak. Sparkling blue eyes. Trivia. During the filming of The Boy in the Plastic Bubble, 1976, he fell in love with Diana Highland, 18 years his senior. She died of breast cancer at 41, in his arms, in 1977. Coincidentally, in 2020, his wife, Kelly Preston, the mother of his three children, also died of breast cancer. Spent nine months learning how to dance to disco music while filming Saturday Night Fever, 1977. Speaks French fluently. Turned down the roles, Splash, 1983, Apollo 13, 1995, and Forrest Gump, 1994. Tom Hanks was cast as the lead. In 1985, Princess Diana asked him to dance at a party at the White House. Quotes On his role in Carrie, 1976, I wanted to work with Brian De Palma. I knew the film would be interesting and attract a lot of attention. I have fame on the level of a Marilyn Monroe or an Elvis Presley, but part of the reason I didn't go the way they did was because of my beliefs. People make judgments about Scientology, but often they don't know what they're talking about. There is nothing gay in this movie, Hairspray, 2007. I'm not playing a gay man. Scientology is not homophobic in any way. In fact, it's one of the more tolerant faiths. Anyone's accepted. When they asked me to be Edna Turnblad, I said, gee, 32 years as a leading man, why me? What makes you think I'd be the perfect woman? As you get older, you have to force yourself to have new dreams. For instance, I've been flying for 37 years, but now teaching others to fly is interesting for me. Sometimes, you have to find new angles on life to keep you interested, like sharing successes, and inspiring and helping others. You have to go out of your way to activate your dreams and keep them going in this third chapter of your life. Salaries. Hairspray, 2007, 14 million US dollar, including CA 3 million US dollar prerequisites. Be Cool, 2005, 20 million dollars. Ladder 49, 2004, 20 million dollars. Basic, 2003, 15 million dollars. Swordfish, 2001, 20 million dollars. Lucky Numbers, 2000, 22 million dollar, plus 20% of gross. Battlefield Earth, 2000, 10 million dollars, plus profit points. The General's Daughter, 1999, 20 million dollars. A Civil Action, 1999, 20 million dollars. Primary Colors, 1998, 17 million dollars. Mad City, 1997, 20 million dollars. Face Slash Off, 1997, 20 million dollars. Michael, 1996, 12 million dollars. Phenomenon, 1996, 8 million dollars. Broken Arrow, 1996, 8 million dollars. Get Shorty, 1995, 4 million 250 thousand dollars. White Man's Burden, 1995, 500 thousand dollars. Pulp Fiction, 1994, 150 thousand dollars. <laughs>